Uh, now let's look at the question. So the question reads that sodium and oxygen combine to form two compounds. Okay. इसमें से एक कंपाउंड दिया है एज एन ए टू ओ एंड द अदर कंपाउंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द अदर द अमाउंट ऑफ सोडियम इन द अदर कंपाउंड इज फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट बाई वेट ऑल राइट सो फाइंड द फॉर्मूला ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड ऑल राइट तो कैसे करेंगे देखो सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन सोडियम एंड ऑक्सीजन दे आर कंबाइनिंग टू फॉर्म टू कंपाउंड्स तो one compound they have already given and mentioned in the question that is na2o and the other compound is naxoy okay so there are basically two compounds one is na2o and the other compound is naxoy okay uh in the first uh compound na2o sodium and oxygen are in the ratio of 2 is to 1 okay uh that is this ratio is the molar ratio by the way एंड सोडियम एंड ऑक्सीजन का रेशियो इसमें एक्स एस टू वाई है ये भी ध्यान रखना ये भी क्या है ये भी मोलर रेशियो है तो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द कंपाउंड तो ऐसा कर लेते हैं वी हैव बीन गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट द अमाउंट ऑफ सोडियम इन द अदर कंपाउंड अदर कंपाउंड रेफर्स टू द वन वी हैव अज्यूम्ड इट टू बी एज एन ए एक्स ओ वाई ठीक है इज फिफ्टी नाइन परसेंट बाई वेट सो they have given you uh, weight of sodium weight of sodium as 59% so weight of oxygen will be 41% so if i consider that the weight or total weight of naxo is 100 grams let's assume that so assume weight of naxo y to be 100 grams. So ये मैंने 100 grams assume कर लिया है. So I will be able to convert this percentages into weight now. So 59% will become 59 grams and 41% will become 41 grams. All right. Now let's calculate the moles of each of these elements. Moles of sodium will be 59 upon 23 and moles of oxygen will be 41 upon 16. All right. Now let's calculate uh, the moles. Fifty-nine uh, by twenty-three will roughly come out to be, I think, uh, two point. Uh, okay, if I forty-six, so hundred will be sixteen. So roughly, I can say uh, two point six, maybe two point six, two point five. I guess uh, this will also come out to be. Let's do two thirty-two. I think yeah, similar 2.6, 2.5. I guess this is approximation, guys. Okay, I'm just done it in my head. I don't know if I'm correct or wrong. So please correct it in the comment if you can. All right, uh, it's 2.6 roughly. Uh, so I am I'm finding that both the moles are approximately equal. Therefore, I can say that the mo molar ratio of sodium and oxygen will be one is to one. Okay. and from this i can conclude that x must be equal to y so i can say that it will be either option b or c all right it will either be option a uh sorry uh b or c so i am what i am going to do is i am going to consider x and y to be equal to some let's just say or let's let's take both as x only so let's consider now nax ox as the compound all right so in the first compound okay this is based on law of const uh, multiple proportion when two elements combine to form in combine to form two or more compounds so in this case sodium and oxygen combine to form na2o and nax ox now all right so in the first compound sodium and oxygen are in the ratio 2 is to 1 this ratio uh, is the molar ratio is the yeah is a molar ratio and in the second case uh, let's call it nax ox the ratio is 1 is to 1 okay so if i let's just say for a moment if i make the uh, moles of sodium to be constant okay let's take moles of sodium to be constant 
and convert this into 1 is to 1 by 2. So moles of sodium is constant and oxygen must vary in the ratio of so oxygen 1 and oxygen 2 are in the ratio of 1 by 2 is to 1 which is nothing but 1 is to 2 all right so in this case you can see that oxygen 1 and oxygen 2 are in the ratio 1 is to 2 so basically it means that the compound x must be equal to 2 x must be equal to 2 therefore the option should be b